Okay, one, pitch, two. Shark Tank is an amazing place to see entrepreneurs in action. They've got to have passion, they've got to have focus, and they absolutely have to have business savvy. And the last one is they've got to know their numbers. If they don't know their numbers, they're going to be toast. Next into the tank is an entrepreneur who dreams of taking his business from his garage onto the world stage. What I'm bringing to the shark tank today, it's, I don't think it has been seen before. If I had one of these sharks on board, it could you know, really move my business to the next level. Going global is my dream. Hi Sharks, my name's Barry Rami. I'm the founder of Mini Clones. Today I'm seeking an investment of $125,000 in exchange for 25% equity in my company. Mini Clones is a Sydney-based company that allows people to replicate themselves exactly how they are. Whatever clothing they're wearing, however they're posed, I capture that exactly using a 360-degree custom-built scanning rig, which I built myself, as well as a commercial 3D printer. Now, before we go on to the questions, I'd like to hand out a few gifts. Sure. Ooh. Yeah. Let me guess, I'm going to get a clone of Stevie. Thank you. Thank you so much, Thanks, Barry. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, who the hell's that? <laughs> wow. Free makeup, Janine. <laughs> <laughs> they are some of the worst two depictions I've seen. Actually, Steve looks the best. He honestly makes him look good. I get my bald spot. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Barry, just to confirm, that's 125,000 for 25%. Correct. Well, uh, who's this? That's yourself. Oh, that's me? Yes. Really? I've slightly animated your one compared to the rest of the crew. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, he, you needed to. He's a bit older <laughs> than us. As, as yours look me, is it, is it is it realistic? I think it's a bit of an improvement myself. What do you reckon, Glenn? No wrinkles, looking smooth. Hey, Barry, um, I was in Spain last year walking down the back streets of Barcelona and I yep. saw this exact thing. Have you got any technologies that you are trademarked or patented? I haven't. It's uh, not patentable. No. So what's the process? Did you get a photograph or...? Uh, for the bus, I just got photographs. I hand modelled that from from the photographs. So that's why, frankly, it's not as accurate. No. Uh, for a 3D scan, obviously, it's the exact replica, but of a photograph, that's yeah. my perception. So, so you stand in a room, you get scanned three, 360. Yeah, so you walk into the scanning rig, which I built myself, it takes a fraction of a second to do the scan. Right. Because it's not handheld, I can capture babies, I can capture pets. Okay. Because movement's not a, a, a factor. If you're happy with the pose, I then move on to the digital cleanup. So if you want like a smaller stomach or a bigger arms. Oh, this is good. We do that. Oh, okay. So you can enhance the scan. Exactly right. So was, was mine designed to be what I look like when I'm 85? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. All jokes aside, it, look, it's a, it's a unique idea. Yeah. How much money have you put into it? Uh, close to about 300,000. Oh. Wow. All yeah. right. How do you spend 300 grand on this, Barry? The scanning. It's obviously the scanning technology. Ah, uh, exactly. Can I have a look at your people? Sure, sure. And just a dog, too, to see, because sure. animals... Yeah, send, a... them, send them around. See that's, see, that's quite pretty. Thank you. I wouldn't mind seeing how you've depicted yourself. Have you um, done one of yourself? I've scanned myself many times before I've scanned anyone else, but the, uh, the studio itself is quite hot. So I, I, didn't, I wasn't wearing clothing at the time. Oh! Yeah. Right. Hey! hey. So there's a whole new market that we didn't exactly. think about. Right. Glad you didn't bring it. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I can be convinced. I, I can be convinced of any business that people are buying it. Is there traction out there? Okay. I haven't opened up to the public just yet. Oh, Barry. <laughs> I've just oh. finished the R&D stage, so it's working perfect. So hang on. You're now ready to open. So all this is in in your garage at home. Yes. So what does the head cost with the box with everything? $100 for the head, that's my cost. Uh, so for the bus, I plan to sell it for about $300. $300 on the dog? Uh, the dog probably be about like $150. So you've not really checked the pricing in the marketplace of the preparedness of people to pay yet? Uh, no. 
So who do you see as your competition? My competition, uh, I don't know yet. I haven't seen it. I've seen people do it in Australia, but their quality is quite low. So Barry, I can let you know where I'm at. It's not scalable for me, it's not, it's not defensible, and, and it's a little bit odd. I'm so out. Thank you. I'm just trying to see who this might appeal to and where, you know, you've got an interesting play going on. I'm just trying yeah. to work out where this business model might go. Sure. If I was an investor. So what interest have you had? I haven't uh, advertised yet. So, but the only credibility is that people overseas are doing the idea. You know, the, the, the dilemma I have is, is this a bit morbid or is this actually quite exciting? And I do remember there was a whole bunch of people sitting in the waiting room of this scanning place in Barcelona. You know, Barry, um, I'm not clear on how I would ever get a return. I think that you haven't got your business model worked out right. and customers still haven't shown us that they love it. So for that reason, I'm out. Thank you for your time. As I sit here, I think I can imagine a chess set of your family members. You'd have a lot of fun with it. I think there's a, there's a market in the pet market. You know, a lot of people buy trinkets and, and all sorts of things. So there is a market. The only thing you haven't got is you haven't got any answers. You know, is it too expensive? Who is your customer? Who is your competitor? So at this point, I'm out. Thank you for your time. So 125,000 for 25%, I think it's um, a reasonable asking price. There's something there. Look, you, you, yeah. you've actually built what sounds like a really cool piece of tech. You're actually delivering something but fundamentally, don't like the concept of these figurines and these busts. I'm out. Right. Barry, I can see this at shopping centres, but it's got a bit of price point that the dad or the mum will have an impulse buy and go, yeah, go and scan the kid, this will be pretty funny, or turn up at a, a pet show and scan some pets. There is certainly a market. Being in the, the pet industry, the pet lovers love this. Sure. But I can tell you, there's a lot of execution risk. There's a lot more runway that you've got to get done before you launch. And unfortunately for today, I'm out. Thank you so much, guys, for your time. Very good. Have a good one, mate. Good, good luck, luck Thank you. you. Take care. Thank you. I'm pretty surprised I didn't invest. Yeah, I was expecting an investment today. I feel I could have done a better job with the, the clones of the sharks. I think that might have put them off. Had I have done a much better job, they might have invested. He's going to need to clone a whole management team to pull this <laughs> off.